Hey y'all, it's Mary and this is day two of Mask Week. So this is a chance to use up some of our masks that we've received in friend mail or giveaway. Laura the Bargain Hunter and Cece's Trial Size Life and I are doing this little collab. It's going to be a daily um, mask for seven days starting Monday yesterday and going through Sunday. And um, you may want to stick around because we may do a little giveaway here and there. And today's mask, I'm going to do um, this creme shop mask. It's the rose water infused essence mask. And this mask I received from Robin Sadowski. So I will put, Robin has a channel and Robin is a lovely lady. I've known Robin a long time and she does hauls, um, Dollar Tree hauls, Walmart hauls. She does some unboxing. She does Mask Monday. She's just a lot of fun. She's a really down to earth, lovely lady. I, like I said, I've known her a while and um, I happened upon her channel a while back and um, I just really like her. She's a good friend. She's a good friend to have. And um, so go see Robin. Um, a part of this collab uh, will be for the possibility of giveaways will be that you have to be subscribed to Laura the Bargain Hunter and Cece's Trial Size Life and myself. So we'd like you to watch our videos um, this week. There'll be one each day from each of us and um, mask week. So I'm going to put this on and um, today I've got some uh, questions. Now, you know, the creme shop, they always you open at the bottom. These are from Korea and it's supply to clean, dry and optionally toned skin, leave mask on 10, 10 to 15 minutes, no need to rinse, allow skin to absorb nutrients and proceed with usual skincare regimen. And they also suggest you can refrigerate it if you'd like to for a cooling effect, which is nice too. I was thinking, okay, it says the benefits of rose water, the cooling soothing properties of rose water reduce redness and regulate imbalance of the skin. Rich with antioxidants and vitamins, rose water helps maintain a youthful appearance and revitalize the skin to give it a healthy glow. Um, my, I know that rose water has been around for a long, long time, so there must be something good about it, right? So that is what I'm gonna do today. All right, so let's put that on. And I'll also tell you a little bit about Laura the Bargain Hunter and Cece's Trial Size Life. The two of them are very dear friends of mine. I've known them both for a while as well. I always, the first thing I do when I open a mask is smell it. And this does smell very lightly of rose. I don't know if you're the kind of person that doesn't like roses, if you would like this, but it's very lightly scented. It's not offensive at all. Um, but yeah, Laura and Cece, they both do unboxings. They both um, do collabs. We sometimes do collabs together and I really enjoy that. And um, Laura does hauls. She finds bargains, just like her name says. She loves lipstick, and she has so many lipsticks. She likes to show us her lipstick sometimes. Usually on a daily basis, she tells us what lipstick she's wearing. And um, she's just a really good girl. And she has some pets. And you know I'm, I'm an animal lover, so I love people that love animals. And then Cece, uh, again, also does, she does some um, unboxings. And she does a lot of uh, mystery box, mystery bags and boxes that she finds. She finds all kind of different kind of mystery boxes and bags, and she is willing to get them so that we can see if we like them enough to buy them. So, um, and she um, knows a lot about products, makeup, and skincare items. So, um, her mystery bundle watching, I just, I, that's my favorite thing that she does, and she also does a lot of other things. Actually, I like, I watch every video of both of those ladies because they're my good friends and I really enjoy them. And also Cece is an animal lover as well. Both of them have pets. And um, I just love people that love animals. I love, you know, I love people. If you don't have any animals, I understand, but they really do enhance our lives if, you, if you're able to have them. But you know, I know people are allergic and things like that. Or they just, you know, you might be in an apartment situation and you just can't have a pet. So anyway, um, at church the other day, um, this has happened now for about a month now, maybe the last few Sundays, um, a gentleman comes in with a golden retriever. It is his service dog, um, but he wants us to pet the dog because he said that um, service dogs, um, they do need to be socialized to some degree. 
he knew a lot about it. Um, and uh, some, some service dogs, they don't, you know, people tell you don't pet them. So you should always ask the owner, always ask the owner, because if they're really, you know, if they're supposed to be working and taking care of their person, you don't want to interrupt that by playing with them, you know, but if it's okay with the owner, then you can pet them. And this golden retriever um, is just so beautiful. His name was Winston or is Winston. And um, he reminded me so much of my buddy. Um, my buddy was a mutt, but he really, I, you could tell by looking at him that he was, um, that he definitely had golden retriever in him. So, all right. So just for, I'm going to, I have some crazy, I have some this or that's, and then I have these questions, never have I ever. And I thought they might be fun to do a few of them over the course of mask week. So they're just, you know, just some different ones. Never have I ever slept on the floor. So, hmm, yeah, as a kid, I don't know that I ever slept on the floor overnight. You know, maybe just you're watching a movie, you fall asleep. Um, I'm trying to remember. Well, yeah, I have because, you know, when I was a kid, um, I was in Girl, St Girl Scouts and sometimes we would go camping, but um, that didn't happen very often because I lived in the city. That was, you know, just a few times a year we'd do that. And usually we would go to cabins. Um, so some of the cabins had beds and you would sleep though in your sleeping bag on the bed. You know, the bed was like stripped down. Um, but I remember one time for sure sleeping on the floor that we all had to sleep on the floor in our sleeping bags. And I remember too, another time I went overnight um, with a girlfriend to her family's house. It was like an hour's drive from Chicago. Um, we went to her family's house and um, I mean, all of her, her grandmother was there and all her aunts and everything. And we made, um, we made homemade enchiladas. No, I'm sorry. I said that wrong. We made homemade tamales, tamales. And I had so much fun with those people. They were just so nice. I knew, of course, the girl, and I knew her mom, and I knew her dad, and that was it, because she, she was an only child. But I didn't know any of the rest of her family, and there was a good 30 people, 40, 50 people there. And every one of them treated me like family. It was so wonderful. They were so good to me, and I had so much fun. And they taught me how to make tamales, you know, with the corn husk and everything. I just, it was, it was so much fun. I had a good time. And we slept on the floor, because there were so many of us. Because uh, we stayed over there for the uh, the weekend, and um, but I don't, you know, I don't, I never was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna sleep on the floor. No, it's not my thing. <laughs> um, never have I ever broken someone's nose. No, I have never broken someone's nose. Um, I could see where that could be something that could happen accidentally. You know, you go to slam the car door or something, and somebody's there, and you accidentally hit them. If I ever did, it was an accident. But I don't believe I ever have. <laughs> Um, never have I ever told a secret in a family dinner. Well, that's very interesting because, um, I'm sure I have. We used to have, um, when I was growing up, my father worked in the morning. He dropped us off at school and then he came home around lunchtime-ish, one or two, somewhere in that range. And then he'd have to go back out at five-ish or so. So we didn't eat together as a family, except we did on Sunday. So my brother and sister and I would eat together with my mom, you know, each night, we each weeknight. But on Sunday, we had a big dinner and my grandmother would, uh, we lived um, uh, downstairs from my grandmother. She would come down and then my, a couple of aunts would come and visit uh, also. And we would have a nice big Sunday dinner um, and we would eat like at one or two in the afternoon, you know, one, some, you know, a big roast, you know, the whole nice thing. And I'm sure we told all kinds of secrets. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never have I ever walked barefoot on the street. Um, yes, I have. Um, I'm a barefoot kind of girl and, um, I like to be barefoot and, um, I walk around my property all the time barefoot, um, in the grass, on the sidewalk, um, my driveway, but if you want to talk in this in the street, when I was a kid, we would. Uh, when I was a kid, kids played outside, and I lived in a, in a city block of Chicago. And sometimes we would have to go into the street. You know, the ball would go in the street or something. I wasn't allowed to cross the street 
for a long time until I was a certain age and I, and I maybe I don't remember how old I had to be to cross the street because you know traffic um, there was just it was just a one lane everybody had to park the same direction but you had to be real careful crossing the street so we were not really allowed to but if you if the ball went in the street you could maybe run and get it you know so you were barefoot so yeah I have um, never have I ever taken drugs and um, uh, I do take medication I have high blood pressure I don't have high blood pressure because I take medication, but no, I um, am not someone that's ever experimented with drugs. Um, I know a lot of people have, and I don't hold that against anybody, but for me, it wasn't something that I was interested in at all. So um, I never did, never did. Um, and that was five questions and, um, it's about 10, 11 minutes into it. So I'm going to finish with that and, um, go over please and see Laura, the bargain hunter and see CC's trail size life. They will be in the description. I'll also put Robin Sadowski. Go ahead and see her too. You, I think you'll like all these ladies. Um, every channel that I mentioned through the week, um, you know, uh, if they're my friends then I know you're going to like them. So, um, that is my, um, uh, Tuesday mask week, Tuesday of mask week. So this is a really nice mask. It feels really good. I'll take it off right quick. It, it just is so gentle. You can tell that it feels very gentle. And then I will rub this essence in and feel very pampered. So y'all, thanks so much for stopping by and count your blessings. Bye-bye.